everyone, welcome back to another week and welcome back to another studio vlog. Today is actually Saturday and this rarely happens. I always try to leave the weekends to rest and to recharge and everything, but uh, with the craziness from last week, if you saw last week's studio vlog, you know it was a little bit all over the place. I had to restock a lot of products. I was meant to do the Patreon boxes for the month of March. Yeah, I thought I could come in the studio and try to take um, a little bit of an advance on the Patreon boxes. The beginning of the studio vlog, it will be a lot me preparing it and getting some products ready. Uh, I still need to do a little brainstorm uh, of the products that I'm going to send because right now I'm normally sending a mini print, a sticker sheet and a larger sticker but then I also add some products like stationery and stuff like that so I still need to do a little brainstorm of what I want to do but this month it was the first month that I ordered uh, some a new product that it was manufactured and I'll show you in a little bit. I just want to send a spoiler alert for my patrons because I know a lot of them want the boxes to be a secret. I'm going to insert a safe minute over here so where you can go to and that I'll already be doing other things non patron related. Let's get to work on patron boxes. were the things that I ordered. I ordered from Sticker Mule. I still need to mount them. They come with a protective thingy on top. I still need to take it out. That's why it looks so not so shiny. These ones already took it out so they look a little more shiny and not so scratched. So yeah, I still need to do that in all of this and yeah, let's do that and mount them. protection thing is so hard to take out but these are all ready to mount these ones
there. It's Monday now. I've been trying to get some orders done that I got during the weekend and I've been doing some other things for the Patreon boxes. I've done two postcards that is going to be like a little postcard set and I also did a vinyl sticker of one of the little birds. So yeah, I think we can start packaging uh, Patreon boxes. And then once that is done, because I, as I said previously, previously, I already wanted to do that last week. So I really want to uh, send the Patreon boxes as soon as I can. And then I'll uh, do the order so tomorrow I can go to the post office and post everything at the same time. Let me show you the all the goodies for this month's box and let's get packing so here is everything ready so this is the mini print and we have this month's sticker sheet that i think looks super super adorable this is the thank you card that you saw me doing as well i already wrote some thank you messages on the back and then we have these two postcards this is the front and this is the back I did two of them inspired on the pattern that I did for the sticker sheets as well. This is the little vinyl sticker. And then this is the keychain that you also saw me assembling on Saturday. And I really, really like how it turned out. And it's nice to have like a new product to send out to patrons. So yeah, I'm going to get packing the Patreon boxes. What I do now is I pack everything, like I pack just the stickers because it's for one tier, then I pack everything for the bear tier, and then tomorrow I'll do the pins and I'll pack the rest for the whale tier because it's just easier, and then I'll just add the thank you notes and put them in the right envelopes so I don't get anything messed up. So yeah, let's get packing.
it's now the next day and I just finished making the Patreon pins for this month and look how perfect this resin looks. I think last week I talked about some resin fails that I was having and I think I just wasn't waiting time enough for this to dry be because before putting the resin I put a varnish um, just to give an extra protection and I saw that um, putting resin directly on shrink plastic may not result uh, very good so I do that and I think like resin doesn't work well with water and humidity so I think um, because the varnish wasn't well dried when I was putting the resin it was creating the bubbles and everything yeah this looks very very perfect with no bubbles some of them have bubbles you can't really see them because they are so so small they look like little incisions on the um, on the resin but yeah these ones turn out so so nicely like can you see it's like this little thing over there but yeah this time it almost didn't happen it's easier in smaller pins but still even in smaller ones I was having a lot more than this so I'm super super happy I think I just need to wait a little longer for the varnish to dry and I think it will work a lot better and this this uh, shrink plastic it's um, a transparent one and I really really like it like the colors don't pop that much but it gives a nice touch because you don't see like the white um, on the other side so I really really like it and I think I'm going to also make some earrings with this one yeah I'm going to finish packing these ones and then we'll go to the post office then I'll just go home because I'm feeling like I really need to rest. I'm super, super tired. So I think I'll just go home and sit on the couch and just draw on the iPad after going to the post office. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow a little bit more refreshed and ready to finally start making new products for the next shop update. So yeah, let's go to the post office and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Welcome to Wednesday. Um, yesterday I took a very chilled afternoon even though I went home uh, to rest and to take care of some work for Patreon and I end up cleaning for like two hours. And as you saw from the previous footage I got a new printer which is super exciting but also super super scary because it's another investment in my business and everything and 
yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, I got another Canon iX6850. It's exactly the same model as the one that I had. Um, I just thought that I'm going to do a new shop update and I want to introduce new notebooks. I want to uh, make new notepads and everything. Um, and sometimes we just one print a printer um, the notebooks and the notepads take a long time to print and sometimes I also want to do stickers or I want to take care of some things um, like to send packages and stuff like that I wanted to show you a new test that I did here um, I've said on Instagram I think it was last week that I don't use Canon inks because they are super super expensive I found some really good inks like super super cheap um, I'm going to leave the link in the description if you want to check it out I'm almost 100% sure that it's a Portuguese company I'm not sure if they ship um, somewhere else but if you are Portuguese maybe you can use it please be careful with this because there are some um, non-branded inks that are really not good so you have to, I don't know, be lucky or do some trial have some trial and error but these ones are super cheap and super super good and I did a little test print with my old printer that uses non-original Canon ink and the new one where I put it like the original paint, original ink that comes with the printer and they look exactly the same so yeah let me show you you can't really see the difference so this is with the old one that is with non-original um, inks and this is with the new one and let me put side by side like you can't see any difference at all um, so yeah this is the non-original and this is the original I was also afraid of ruining the printer but I've been using it for more than a year now and I never had any problems and the money that I already saved I could buy like five new printers or more so yeah if you want to look into that but please be careful um, because it can ruin your printer if it is bad quality non-original inks so yeah I'm going to leave the link in the description I gain nothing from it it's just if you want to take a look at it and yeah the ink like the real Canon ink costs 15 times more than the one that I use so it's definitely not worth it because yeah, you can't really see the difference. Now I'm finally going to start on working on the next shop update that I wanted to do in the beginning of April, sometime last next week, but I'm not thinking that is going to be possible. Uh, so maybe I'll need to postpone it for the middle of April. And I want to have like new prints, new notebook designs, new sticker sheets, the socks, the earrings and I feel like it's a little bit crazy, but I haven't done a shop update for so, so long. So I really want to um, add the new products and at the same time also upload some new designs for the products that I already have on the shop. So today I thought we could start on the socks, which I'm really excited about. And I want to improve my techniques and how I do them. So. I think I'm going to go on the computer now and choose the designs that I want to have for the socks because some of them might not work very well. And yeah, let's work on that. I already have these ones done. So I'm going to do the same and I'm going to, i leave like a little margin on the sides so that the illustration won't be cut um, from one side to the other side of the sock. I'm not sure if I explained that correctly, but yeah. Um, so I'm going to do the same with some other patterns. So these ones I already tried um, the other time that I filmed for the vlog and they look like this and I think they look super, super cute, but I pressed them backwards. Um, but I think I'm going to add like a little rectangular like this so that where the fingers sit um, the image doesn't get weird or something like that so it looks like this do you know what I mean like on the fingers part and I'll just see how it looks and then I'll see which ones I like the best
this is how the first try turned out. Um, the colors are a little bit too dark, but comparing with this one, like the quality and the definition of the print is a lot, lot better. So even though it's a lot darker, I really, really like how I print. Now I've printed with like a matte uh, paper setting or something like that. And this one was a little too light. And I also really like the that part uh, because, I don't know, they look a little bit more professional, don't they? But please let me know which one you like the best. I think these ones look really, really cool. And yeah, now I just need to adjust the settings a little because I'm still playing with the colors and how can I print them and stuff like that. But I really, really like it and the quality, it's super, super nice. Here's the second try and I love them. I messed up on this one because I reused tape from this ones and as you can see it got leftover <laughs> ink in here but look how cool this looks. I'm in love. I'm sorry this light is super super bad but I really really like it and I really love that uh, this detail over here and the colors look so nice. Uh, I've put a little bit more brightness in this one than in this one and I think it looks a lot better. So I'm quite happy with it. So let's make some more. <laughs> let's try some more socks. It's a lot later and I already got some designs ready. So I just need to print them out and get them ready. I already prepared like a little army of socks but my printer i don't know why but when it prints a lot of sheets um in a row it starts to smudge a little so i thought she could use a break and tomorrow i'm going to do all of this so i can get like stock ready and then if i do new designs these are all ready and i just need to do the new ones so yeah it will be a lot of stock making tomorrow as I was doing this and printing and stuff like that, I've been uh, working on editing the Patreon podcasts that I just posted. So that is done as well. And I'm going home now to rest and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Thursday now. I just went to the post office to drop some order that I had on the last couple of days and I got this on my PO box. So yeah, let me show you. 
So my girl Tita sent me a surprise box and I'm so, so, oh my god, I'm in shock. She sent me so many things. So let me show you. She sent me a magnet and I absolutely love magnets and I absolutely love strawberries. <laughs> Just my favorite thing ever. And she sent me a bunch of stickers and prints. Ah, look at this! I love her character so much and she puts a lot of textures and everything and the prints have so much good quality and they are like kind of glossy Look at them! And she sent me these earrings that I've been like looking up for so long She's, since she launched them They are so pretty, I love them so so much And she just opened her Patreon and yeah, she's amazing and deserves all the love just look at this packaging and everything is so well wrapped i'm going to leave her links in the description she has a youtube channel go give this girl some love because she absolutely deserves it because look at all this cuteness overload <laughs> and yeah i was at my post office and i sent her a message like what the freak what is this what did you send it and yeah she said it's a surprise for me, so thank you so much, you're a sweetheart. This morning I was basically restocking stickers, um, I was preparing some things for making the socks, I was restocking some thank you cards as well, and some freebie stickers, I did some tote bags as well. So now let's do some socks and yeah, let's go! Look how pretty! Yay! how the socks turn out so i did the t1 i did the c1 which i don't know i love them all but i think this might be my favorite because of the colors and i did the dry flowers the gardening the happy flowers and the 90s and i might do a few more two or three designs we'll see i don't want to do too much otherwise it will be like a mess to restock them but i'm so so happy and i'm happy that i added like this little detail because i think it makes all the difference and it makes the socks look a lot more professional this absolutely takes forever to do but i'm so so happy with the result I've also wanted to show you something, so I don't have it uh, resistant gloves, so I basically grabbed um, these ones, I used to use these ones in the beginning when I bought my guillotine and I, have a, I had a little accident, so I bought this for safety, but I don't use them anymore because now I know how to properly use it and this was super helpful for not burning my fingers which was very very cool and they are very handy because you feel like your end uh, it's still very loose so yeah these are really really cool and i also wanted to show you the ugly part this is the waste of paper that i made today because like for every pair of socks i have to use two sublimation sheets and then uh, below the press i also need to put like a normal sheet so that the paint won't go on the press so yeah this is the ugly side of it but the thing i like with my own production i know exactly what is my waist so i'm more mindful of it um so even though it's a lot like I can't control it, I also have a lot of waste with stickers and all that kind of things, but at least I know 
the amount of things I'm putting in the trash and I can control it more and I also can put it in the recycling so if I send this to someone to make I have no idea what they do with like leftovers and stuff like that please let me know which ones are your favorite and if you would like to see a specific pattern from me I hope you enjoy the socks I'm so so happy with them uh, I was so nervous to invest in Solimation because it's such a big step but it, it really means the world that you enjoy them and that you are excited for them I'm really overthinking pricing and stuff like that because um, you know I like honesty so they are polyester because to make uh, sublimation I have to use uh, polyester fabric they are still super super soft but they are not like the feeling is not like cotton um, so I'm really afraid um, that people will think that they are not good quality or something like that I really need to make sure the price is still fair because they do take a long time to make and everything so yeah I'm still trying to figure that out as well it's the next step as well as the packaging I hope you enjoy them please do let me know which one is your favorite and now it's the time where I do some shout outs now it's the end of every video I post of every week I'm going to do two shout outs of two small uh, YouTube channels so you can give them some love so this week I want to give a shout out to the Charmaginals Charmaginals? Charmaginals? <laughs> I hope I'm saying it right um, it's a business from Natalie she is a sweetheart and she focuses on uh, chronic il illnesses and mental health she has certain characters associated with certain uh, chronic illnesses and mental health uh, issues so yeah go give her some love and the second shout out of the week is for Lacuna Moon uh, it's a business from Nuala she's She's almost starting out with her Etsy shop and she already has some videos here on YouTube so if you like whimsical and magical illustrations I'm sure you will love her work because it's super super nice. I'm going to leave links in the description for everyone that I mentioned in this video. I'm going to finish the studio vlog here. I'm going to stop talking because I've been talking for a while now. Battery went down when I was talking. I just want to say bye and thank you so much for watching this video, thank you so much for all the love on this channel, it really really uh, can change someone else's life and you're changing mine, so thank you so much for supporting my dreams and my business. I hope you guys have a nice week or week and a half depending when you're watching this video and I'll talk to you guys very very soon, bye! bye.